the fuck Shut up, the bro. fuck up. Oh, the 43rd president of the United States. What's the move like? What's the move like? Where we at? We're going to talk about <laughs> the upcoming... <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh, yeah. It's Blanket Blake here. I'm back at it again with another Oh Yeah podcast. The podcast for degenerates by degenerates. It goes to you, no, I said my name. Fuck you. I'm Dorsey. Weird Dorsey. <laughs> we, weird Dorsey, because uh, we had a mic finally go out of commission today and now dad and i are getting real close this episode we're sharing a mic isn't that right dad yeah i had to grow my beard out so we didn't look awkward next to each other so here it is <laughs> we're gonna have a segment of the show where i get naked and everybody here kind of strokes my beard tells me what they think about it uh, uh, minus the get naked part <laughs> sure I'll, I'll i'll stroke the beard and tell you what i think about it but you don't have to get naked for that i don't yeah i'll touch the, yeah i'll touch the beard you can get naked i'm cool with it all right yeah i'm cool with it you can get naked for me uh, anyways anyways so we do have i don't know if you guys noticed you fucking guys uh we have two people sitting in between us did you guys notice did you guys notice I noticed uh, Dorsey blowing weed juice into my uh, my SM7B here, yeah. Who are you guys? My name's 26, a.k.a. Chance. I'm the owner and main engineer at Take a Chance Records. What's up, everybody? I'm uh, Lil Siren. Uh, real name, Will Baker. You know, uh, just love making music, and I got a good friend with me right here. Yes, sir. You mind getting a little bit into that mic for me? A little what? A little bit more into that mic. Yeah, oh, my bad. Go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now we can hear you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My bad. I got headphones and I could just tell that was Sound a problem. Yeah. yeah. So, just so we were clear here, you guys have made uh, music together multiple times then, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. Siren was actually one of my first clients. When did that kind of start between you two working together, actually? Uh, we both have a guy that helps out a lot at the studio, uh, Nate LeBeau. Yeah, and he's a right. does his own music and stuff, and uh, you know he uh, he hit me up because I've known Nate for years, and he was like, "Hey, my buddy Chance just opened a studio. You should come through. We can make some new music." I was like, "All right, cool." And then it just like first time there, a great time, and then we just kept it going. Yeah, we just kept going, and and now he just helps me run the studio <coughs> now too. Honestly, he's my right hand man. Mm-hmm. Fuck, hold on, I'm sorry to interrupt. We forgot to bring up. The drinking game for this episode. We've been having a problem with that. We made it almost eight minutes. Um, the drinking game for this episode is the word like. (laughs) Every time you hear the word like, you drink. Um, we will be keeping around after somebody's done speaking. Once we hear it, and we'll count it, and then at the end of that person speaking, we'll call it how many drinks there are. Uh, good luck, gentlemen, and good luck to you viewers at home. (laughs) You as well. I'm like really gonna like drink a lot tonight. I think. Yeah, this one, this one's gonna be Let's rough. Let's do. I say that word a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. As do I. Uh, now the only thing I gotta say, gentlemen, is don't be scared to get up in here and make love to that mic so the viewers at home can hear you. And uh, Chris down there at the end can do, have an easy time trying to engineer our songs together. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Don't be scared. That's oh, okay, man, I'm just going to crush the fuck out of everybody so you're all exactly at zero decibels, <laughs> so it yeah, sounds bro. good through laptop speakers, your mom's car, fucking ask, ask our engineer buddy over here, the way <laughs> to have a good mix is to make it loud. You just blast it. For real, you, you don't got to EQ, compression is for babies, <laughs> fuck the dog. EQ, fuck compression. Mm-hmm. Sound goodizer on the master. Just turn it up. Yep. And just Sound goodize that bitch. Pray just for pray, the best. Pray for the best. <laughs> It'll pass the car test every time. It will pass the car test. That's I don't amazing. know about much else, though. But That's amazing. <laughs> um, so, how long have you guys been uh, working together now in regards to actually releasing music? Shoot, it's about a, about a year now. Year. You gotta get on that mic, bud. You gotta get on oh, that mic. It's, been a, it's probably been about a year now, you know, I'd say. Yeah, a little bit over a year. Yeah, Take a Chance Records actually just uh, had its one year anniversary probably about a month ago. And yeah, it's been doing good. So, bringing up the one year anniversary, you're also right in time for the one year anniversary. If I'm not mistaken, there's a new place that just opened up that's going to be opening oh, up man. shortly. Yeah, probably by the end of the month. Just okay. got the keys. Ooh! Yeah. Just got the keys yesterday. <laughs> Damn. Out in Farmington Hills, you know, I'll be keeping posted on my socials, you know, about the progress and how it goes. But yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a huge upgrade, and 
big things are coming. That's all I gotta say. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. New studio, new clients incoming. Is that what I heard? Yeah, of course. New Look clients. It's a new area. You know, I'm excited for everybody else that are, all the new people that are coming in. You know, I'm gonna be doing them right. Mm-hmm. They're and gonna be sounding those, amazing. They're gonna take hot, a chance. They're gonna make a hit. Those hot blonde chicks with the rich dads and shit. That's what I see every yeah. time I go through there. Yeah. And they look at my greasy. Oh ass. yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what up, y'all? I'm from Taylor. It works every time. <laughs> so they want Not get hoodie. talk back. No, uh, Dorsey could tell you. I want to know your like percentage here then on so if your success rate if it works every time like I really want to know the numbers because I don't I don't know if I believe that I don't I got a trust issue thing apparently I've been told so I don't really know man sixty percent of the time it works a hundred percent of the time (laughs) the hoes know the answer boys we'll leave it at that (laughs) carry on with your questions so you are you started. You started with the five W's there a minute ago there, Dorsey. Uh, the who, what, when, where, why of both of you, if you guys don't mind. You guys can take turns answering. Uh, let's start with the who. Who are you guys? We already kind of t- touched based on it. Yeah. Uh, you got a rapper, and uh, you're also a rapper as well. Um, yeah. Bit of a technician, yeah. studio worker. Vocal engineer. I basically okay. just make you sound good. I put the whole song together. You okay. Know? Mm-hmm. Make yeah. it as best as it can be. Anything else you guys want to add to the Who? Uh, I'm I'm just a guy that loves making music, and if yeah, if it turns into a career, awesome. But I'm just having a great time right now, working with some of my best friends, just making good music that I enjoy. So that's the that's about me right now. Okay. The Who? When? When? When did it all start? Well, was, for me, it started about six years ago, probably when I was about sixteen. Um, you know, I just I actually wanted to start rapping for the first time. You know. I wanted to, I wanted to be a rapper, but I had the computer. I was the one with the computer and the mic at my house, so Hi, I was the guy that, you know. So overall, I was the guy that always ended up mixing everybody. And yeah. over time, I just kind of like mixing more than actually rapping. And eventually, I was sick of actually working, you know, my nine to five job, you know. And no eventually, job. I was like, screw it, I'm gonna go full time with it, and I opened up a studio, and you know, it's been doing good so far. Good Can't shit. complain. Six years ago, man, that was SoundCloud. Fucking yeah, little dude. Uzi coming SoundCloud. out. <coughs> little SoundCloud. boat mixtape. Little we were Uzi just versus starting to hear about Juice World. Yeah. Juice you know? World's coming out. Little peep and shit. <laughs> fucking little pump was the shit back then. Wait, yeah. there was a lot of inspiration to get X, started in music. Man, two drinks, for real. at least two drinks. Don't skip past yeah. those. Oh man, it was just such an awesome time for rap music. And I remember the old heads getting so goddamn mad, like all oh, the colorful dreadlocks and they're mumbling. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mumble rapping right. what are they even saying suck my balls that shit was so goddamn hard it was so hard I was a lil rapper back then yeah. too man yeah. like Amen, fuck bro. yeah you can't uh, hate on the mumble rap no honestly. not at all and it I was a new little, generation yeah. bro it yeah. was and it came and went you know it did. SoundCloud it just, it did you know, for sure. It, it did. And I'm, I love the music being made now, though. Yeah, like, oh, it's yeah. definitely more focused on like actually rapping. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, the, the bars, you mm-hmm. know, you're not yeah. just talking, saying nothing on the. Yeah. Like, yeah the even though it sounds good, it did back. sound good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But. Oh yeah, and it was very important. I mean, it brought but a lot of. It's a part of history. Genre, right? You know, as yeah. a guy that yeah. as a guy that makes a lot of Detroit music, I gotta, <laughs> I appreciate punchlines. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. I love punchlines. Shit, dude, that, that swag's taken over the city like crazy the last couple of years. I know. Just so awesome <laughs> to see. Uh, that was the, so who, when, uh, that was your win. Yeah, when did you win? Uh, I was sitting in class one day, and I always wanted to make music, and a friend of mine was like, Will, you definitely should just, like, if you get cut from basketball, you should definitely just go all in on music. <laughs> so, what I'm, happened? Like, I'm like, I never recorded anything. And he was like, bro, but you got to have, like, a funny name. Like, it's got to be, like, Lil Quesadilla or Young Pop-Tart. <laughs> <laughs> or he go- yeah, and then he goes, or Lil Siren. And then for some reason, I was just like, wait, why that? And he goes, one, because it's dumb. And two, before your songs, you could put, like, we will... We will. <laughs> so to this day that's like one of my most common ad libs that's in my funny. songs or, yeah or it'll be like a, an intro like kind of thing yeah, that's oh, yeah. Dope. but yeah and then just started making music with a bunch of different talented people and and it was hard because people that there was already like a, a really talented guy that went to my high school and did music his name's b uh really talented but everyone would like 
why are you doing that? Are you trying to copy him kind of thing? And no, it wasn't yeah. that. It's just SoundCloud came around and it was real easy to put up whatever you wanted to put up. So, right. mm-hmm. yeah, so that was... The, make music in your room. Mm-hmm. First yeah. time ever. Yeah, and it was always always fun making music back then, even though people were horrible to me, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that of came course. territory. My God. <laughs> yeah. You were rapper! Hey, all, <laughs> all the matter was, was is that you stuck with it. Mm-hmm. Because now, yeah. you know... And this is one... Uh, yeah. Now I'm doing yeah. real things now with the music. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of cliche to do the whole flex on the haters thing, but you kind of actually have to do that. Yeah. That's just my <laughs> yeah. Spot. Leave it alone. But being a hater is just as fun because you were saying the accessibility that SoundCloud gave us was just huge. Mm-hmm. That meant everybody, even mm-hmm. the people who sucked yeah. bad, yeah. like yeah. the motherfuckers Some playing. Some shouldn't have been around. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Like, like you know, the, we all had kids from high school that would be rapping to beats, playing off a laptop speaker, <laughs> and they're, they're rapping into their phone, and they, they were just off beat, just saying the worst shit. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, we would just spend hours listening to that stuff, laughing our asses off. It's just <laughs> like, it was so funny. And I Actually, uh, on my archive today, I have some of that shit saved. It was so funny. Uh, it's quality. <laughs> did, um, you, did you make some of that shit, though, Chris? Like, was that any of your era? No. No, no I, 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 I definitely took a part in that trash Oh, yeah. music. It's like, part I was making that too on I will be on the I was getting well. <laughs> You guys didn't know. Nobody knew any better. You didn't know. <laughs> I was just having fun, though, at the end mm-hmm. of the day. For, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know? yeah. it, it, it's formative. For those yeah. that stuck with it, it's formative. If you're six years in the game and still doing that, look into how to yeah. actually do it, kids. I, you I, definitely got to learn from your mistakes. Yeah. Absolutely. You and definitely got to learn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you're sticking with it, you definitely got to keep progressing. Yeah, and I feel like the last two of the of the five whys are pretty much explained as the what's and the whys. Mm-hmm. You guys are both down river guys, same as us. Yep. Um, yeah. And the what's is me, the passion for music and just doing yeah. it. I mean, yeah, hey amen. That's that's why I do it. You know, I love music. I'm making it. I always have. Yeah. So. There's nothing better in my Decided, opinion. Why not try to do it's, a career it's amazing. and try to make it with music? You know? I've talked about <gasps> it before. Like with, uh, I loved basketball growing up, but I didn't enjoy the hard work that came with it. Yeah. <laughs> like I was just like, yeah, I'm excited for the game tonight, but I have practice yesterday and I'm still sore. That sucks. <laughs> so with music, though, I enjoy all the benefits it has given me, which is like some close relationships that I have in music. And I enjoy the hard work. I enjoy like writing something down that's like oh shit that's hard i enjoy finding a new flow i enjoy finding a beat that like challenges me and makes me want to try something different Mm -hmm. and like uh yeah so it's just like it's my biggest passion i've ever had like this is it really i love doing this that's one thing too i like that you said previously not that statement but when you brought up like you don't really give a shit if you like blow up completely off it either way because you enjoy making the music you're yeah. making for yourself. Even one hundred percent. So yeah. like that's a big thing. Like if you don't like what you're doing, then it's gonna be tough to keep fucking doing it. Yeah. So I do. I really resonate with that. Yeah. This is this has been a blast. We love pulling people on mm-hmm. like you. You know. Local oh, artists. you're having fun. I'm having a fucking great time. What do you mean? What do you Fuck. fucking mean? Hey, this episode's been fun oh, so far. Come on, man. Whoops. I think it's been kind of interesting. Yeah. I get high as fuck. I'm joking. I'm joking. I get high as fuck and drunk as fuck on camera and have conversations with local artists and local talented people. So, I mean, yeah, I'm having a blast. I don't know about you. As long as you're doing what you're doing, then there ain't nothing wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah. I just keep going. Ah, I've been talking into my invisible <laughs> mic. I sure I'm having a bang yeah. time, boys. Nah, bro. This is uh, the best please thing. Please continue, Dad. There's more you want to say. I yeah, mean, you, ahead, you went hard on the imaginary mic. Oh no, this is just being a smart aleck. I don't. Know. <laughs> no, Dorsey hit everything on the head because the moment the shit isn't fun anymore, or you. you you put too much thought into it and it becomes stressful. Yeah. Once it starts feeling like a job. You, well, it can feel like a job, but a good job. A job yeah. you're happy and proud of. Yeah. Right? yeah. The only time this but is like really... a job that you hate, though. Once it starts feeling like a, you know, like... A, a standard nine to five. It starts feeling like you gotta do dishes in the morning. Yeah, the only know? time I've ever had that feeling here, personally, is when we're doing a big event and it's working down to the last, like, few days of the event. That's when I feel yeah. like it's, like... Oh shit! I'm really working now. Like yeah. this is getting yeah. hard. Yeah. Other than that, every time has just been fun and enjoyable. That's and why. Depends, you know, you gotta work harder for the. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You know, so you're, 
It pays off at the end. Yeah. That's why I don't announce my albums before <laughs> <laughs> before they're fully finished. Right. True enough. Yeah, so... Don't, yeah. don't jump the gun on that. No, 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 no. No, that's fair. With that, we've got an ad coming up here, and oh. I'm going to go into a segment that we, uh, we're we going to send you guys home with something from this ad. Uh, we handle candles, actually, so we're going to have you smell some scents they put together here for their fall collection. Awesome. Oh, man. We're, we're going to do that after this ad, though. All right, so. great. Yeah. I'm excited. Can I get an aw, oh, yeah? Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. As an e-boy sitting in his mom's living room editing a podcast... There's two things that I know that you can do to get chicks. One is have an anime profile picture on Discord. Two is to smell candles. We Handle Candles can help you with one of those things. You can find their info in the description. Place an order today. Let's see what Lil Siren and 26 think of their We Handle Candles options. They'll be able to choose one each to take home. Oh, yeah. We got a dog in the podcast. Dog this in the a, podcast. This is officially a dog cast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but as I said, so type of cast. we're going to go into the candle review here. Mm-hmm. It's been a minute uh, since we've done these, so I would like to take a quick second to apologize to our sponsors. Uh, due to the traveling and the last few episodes, we kind of... Uh, we weren't able to have them with us, and it sucks, and I apologize. But we will make it up to you. Oh, yeah. Hey, you get plenty of air time in the air. Yeah, I just People wanted to say where something. We, we handle love you, candles Spooky. Is that spooky right. slime ball. Exactly. So what do you guys think of these candles? Well, you just took the whiff Hold of this on. one here. They just took a whiff of one. Hold on. I'm asking the review of this one nice. first. It's, this one's nice. It's Christmas like vibes. Good, like, relaxing yeah. Christmas vibe, you know? Yeah, like, I could definitely, good, like, fall. spark it up if mm-hmm. I'm in, like, a session with some R&B yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Like, so this feel would hit good the shit. perfectly. I'm not going to lie. All right, and now we have one more coming your way here. They look like candy. They you do, can't, don't you they? Can't yeah. eat them. Yeah. No, they are not edible. No, Keep they're not edible, Chris. Maybe. I mean, you could eat them. <laughs> you, you possibly. They what are do you edible. think of the little pumpkies? I mean, I'm gonna uh, trick somebody awesome, into eating man. one one of these episodes. Those are awesome. The yeah, first one, one like was uh, Michigan maple. The second one was their pumpkin spice, pumpkin of course. Spice. So pumpkin spice. So all pumpkin the way. spice was the best. Which one's your favorite? I would go that one too. I'm definitely going with the first one. Oh, you like the first one? Yeah. First one gives me like a better, yeah, a good, a better feeling. Yeah. It smells better than me too. They're both going good. home with one then. Yeah, they're both going home with one. All right. I mean, we're due for a new shipment technically. All right. So be Perfect. it. Yeah. Thank there you we guys. go. Here's this for you. Thank you guys. Absolutely. Enjoy it. We handle candles, so you don't have to. Ooh. Don't thank us. Thank we handle candles. Yeah, go check them out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you oh, thank you. Bitch. Thank Why you. did we hit that same yeah, time? That, that was, was quality. Sick. That, that was, was a good cute. one. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, <laughs> That's that chemistry in the booth. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> a working together for I, a year right I there. I love that engineer-artist <laughs> relationship. The bond. I miss having that. <laughs> so you asked a question, um, uh, Siren, you asked a question upstairs that I thought do- Dad would be a great one to go with on this question. Real mm-hmm. quick, if you want to get into a little bit of a debate. Yeah. I'm right here. Yeah, go ahead. What are we debating? Your goat. Who's your goat? Like, oh, for music? Rap. Oh. We'll, st- we'll stick with rap. Uh, I'm going with Jigga. Fair enough. Mm. He was uh, he was up there on mine. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he's up yeah. there on everybody's. I'm going, I'm going Wayne or Drake. Nah, Drake. Drake? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what I wanted. Hear me out. I'm here. No, I'm not judging. I'm not. I'm not gonna attack you. I'm just. I need to hear your case on this. Like I said upstairs when we were talking about it, I said if you look at like just since 2000, like 2000, 2003, it was like Jay Z, Nas, uh, a bunch of other guys that I'm forgetting right now. Oh, dude, fucking Fifty had come out right. Fifty, that time. yeah. Uh, Eminem that. was still yep, kind of riding yeah, high yep. a little bit. Doctor Dre was still Even doing Jay-Z, shit. Yeah, Did yeah. I say Jay-Z? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So and then like 2003 to like 2006 is like Kanye comes out, Eminem, Fifty, all those guys, and then like 2007 to 2010, mm-hmm. it's like uh. Like Eminem's coming back, Jay Z's just making stuff still. It's oh, like, Blueprint Three, dog. That, yeah, that's a yeah. Pretty damn good record. And then like uh, Wayne was still big. J Cole was coming yeah, up. Kendrick Carter Three came yeah. out in this period. Yeah. I mean, from fuck. two from 2010 to about right now, Drake mm-hmm. has been the guy. He has, yeah, uh, like superstar <laughs> style. Yeah, uh, and he's one thing that I've 
thought of recently independently is dog in the he, podcast no i'm not a dog guy but except for tika <laughs> um he's maintained that that chart topping you know record setting blowing the beatles <laughs> out type yeah. shit for over a decade now right because think of think back to his first hit which was what like best i ever had fucking like I'm talking oh, over. Like, he's had eleven yeah, billboards, forever. right? I mean, forever, forever, yeah, right? forever, yeah, forever. Yeah, I th- I'd have Man, to say that was the one. Kanye too, in early yeah, time. Kanye yeah. definitely too. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, Drake has eleven top Billboard hits. If That's I'm, insane. I'm pretty Probably, positive it's eleven. Uh, off of each like, record he's put out. Definitely up there. Yeah. Oh, numbers, yeah, numbers. There's no debating that. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean numbers. That's where I. That's why I'm going based on. But artistically. Artistically, is hard. You want to <laughs> listen? You're gonna sit through Scorpion 24 <laughs> tracks and be like, "This is the goat." <laughs> you, you can, have you stomached an entire Drake album in like 10 years, dog? I hey, this new I one was pretty good. To all really? Her loss? It was pretty good. I, 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 her loss is hard. I yeah. can't judge. Yeah, that's good. Because I best wouldn't. album he's had since probably uh, if you're reading this or two. Uh, yeah. That's that's a tall order, and I want to believe it because I don't want anybody to put out filler shit. <laughs> ah, Scorpion no, like, was no, bullshit. Man. Best album since he's I put mean, out there. Someone's Views was <laughs> bullshit. That that Views was all right. It, Views the was hits, nice. the hits, and the MJ sample he had slash feature, however you want to put it. Yeah, that was those like. There were some dog ass hits off that. Mm-hmm. We're t- yeah. going back yeah. six years ago. Fucking control of one yeah. dance, hotline yeah. bling. There were some good songs on that album. That was a great time to yeah. be into Drake. I mean, and we were in high everywhere. school. That's what that's what I mean, was we popular. Were mm-hmm. We were listening Absolutely. to Drake, yeah. Uzi, and like Future and the Migos. <laughs> like that was high school. Yeah, see that. I right, graduated right, the I, year I before. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can talk about we can talk about actual big artists and everything going on with them. Can we talk about you guys now and what you guys let's have go. coming up? Let's 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 get into something more local. Let's go. All right. Of I'm sorry to cut you guys off. That was a lovely topic. Totally but fine. Let's bring this back into local. What we're here to promote. Give me the fucking mic, all right? Because now <laughs> we're gonna talk. <laughs> we're gonna talk about the upcoming. <laughs> Holy fuck, What's dude. Going what right? is going on right now? I'm just trying to bring up the fact that we're going to talk about your new project. Upcoming album. You guys yeah. are working on it together. Yep. yep. We've Almost got 1,515 days. Yep. There we go. Give me some backstory on that. What's up with that? So, this whole project was... Originally, I had dropped in twenty uh, early 2022. Crowd Control was my last project. And that was always Chance as well. And a uh, big part of me wanted to start moving all my stuff over to bigger platforms, such as Spotify and iTunes and stuff like that. And there were some songs that I felt like didn't get the best uh, like chance to do good. And uh, they, I wanted to move those over as well. So I'm doing uh, Crowd Control will drop it the same day on all platforms. And then on 1515 days later will be five new songs and then five of my songs that did pretty good on soundcloud because i want to move them up with me so yeah that's basically the whole project and uh sidebar on that mm-hmm. these five new songs that siren is dropping you guys are gonna want to listen to them yeah like i'm not gonna lie they're probably his five best songs he's ever we at least me and you have made together yeah say, so. we yeah. get a sneak peek later right yeah yeah yeah, 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 that's, yeah, what yeah. Thought. that's what i thought okay cool yeah cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. You know, you set it upstairs. I'm holding you to it. I'm just that big of a yeah. dick. <laughs> I'm glad that you had the thought to give some flowers to the old records you put out by putting them on the new yeah. one. Yeah. That's that's really good because oftentimes as you're growing and starting out, you're gonna you're gonna make some dog shit, but a couple gems will come yeah, out. Yeah, and that's <laughs> a, that's the thing. Like, the, so a lot of those the songs that I'm moving up all had something like important to me, and, sure. the, and like I had a great memory recording Absolutely. them or loved the song overall. One of my favorite songs, Ruthless, who, which is coming out. Uh, I have a I I lisp sometime when I talk and there's a big one in there but I still love that song. It's a pain in the ma- it's a pain in the ass to mix up. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Gotta, Coming from the producer, you gotta ride with it because anybody killer. Hey, we make on, it work. He we was on Psychopathic <laughs> Records with ICP back in the yeah. day. Yeah, he had a dog ass lisp. Like <laughs> it, no matter what, it was like this, you know, yeah, like like yeah. that. And he just rode with it. He's always rapped that way. Yeah. And I, I love that about him. So yeah, fucking yeah. ride with it. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's part no, of you. Uh, real quick, if we can talk about an upcoming project and something that you're going to be taking a part of that we're doing as well. 
um, Black Friday event that we have going yeah, on with a little yeah. tiny desk setup where we're going to have you running sound for us. Yeah. Uh, have a couple performers as well, such as Two Down and a couple other special guests. Uh, do I see you want to throw a little more info on that? With that, uh, we'll be having the live podcast running from 7 till 8 o'clock, roughly. Maybe 7.20 because we kind of run... Uh, Late a little bit on the oh yeah podcast. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be the one to say it. <laughs> You're not wrong. So after the podcast ends, we'll have uh, possibly I think three, maybe four performers, <laughs> depending on the time we're allowed. Time permitting. Um, no cost. It is free to enter. All ages. All eighteen and older. I all ages. All, all, all ages, ages available though. for entry. Ooh. All ages available for entry. Must be uh, you must be at least eighteen years or older to purchase anything in store, non smoking related. Yeah. Uh, there will be a smoke truck as well, and all entries above the age of twenty one. A food truck. Food Instead truck. of a smoke food truck, food there's going to be a food truck there. As oh, that's well. awesome. Thank you. Thank that's you. Thank you. So plan on eating there. That's you good. know, yes. it's going to be a, a couple hour event. Uh, the only, there's, I mean, obviously, there's going to be cost of the food itself. That guy's got to make his cost back, but. Yeah. Getting in there is free of charge. Two so. other great things as well. There will be a booth there for our friends at Currency Clothing with Colton. Oh, yeah. And yep. with Shout entry out. to the event, you Colton. do get a free entry to the giveaway that is going to be going on with part of Lunar Station as well. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, so there's a lot of great benefits, a really great show that's going to be going on. Um, and you're running sound, so if anybody yeah, wants I'm to say hi to sound. this guy. I'll be there. Yeah. yeah. I'll be I'll be there behind the soundboard, you know, mixing. Mm-hmm. Don't everybody bug sound him. great. You know? Don't bug the guy. He's yeah. busy. Sorry, <laughs> shameless <Definitely>, plug. <laughs> definitely come to me in between sets. <laughs> yeah, when he's when he's working on sound, don't run all that. And yeah, don't bro. forget to give him a pay him a compliment at the end of the night for all the hard work he's yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. Since you're yeah. on the station. Him. He's doing it for free. Oh, totally. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah all the for free. He doesn't know that yet, but he's doing it for free. Oh yeah, <laughs> and feel free to buy him a you know a collectible bong from the lunar station or something. You know? Oh yeah, sure he'd or, like that. Yeah, you would and like make him home. happy because we're not. Uh, or at least <laughs> come and do a session with me. At least. Yeah, yeah. Like Forty yeah. an hour right now. Sessions. When I get to Farmington, I'm going back. I'm probably gonna go up to like fifteen hour. You know, you got bigger bill than more cost. Got to do what you got to yeah. do. Yeah, take a chance, man. I mean, I, fucking check it out. Yeah, take you, a chance and make a hit. It's yeah. almost guaranteed. That's as long green. as you know how to rap. That's green. As long as you know how to rap. I don't know how to rap. Will you take a chance on me? I will take a chance on you. Oh. Oh. How much money you got? No. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> like, what's that bank you call looking like, brother? Yeah. We might take a chance. chance not, good. Nice no. <laughs> <laughs> not good. <laughs> Fucking drink. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you guys mix on? Uh, I use Pro Tools. Wow. That's like an alien language to an fl studio user like me i mean you make beats though right yeah i, I mean do. it's a whole nother game you can't even make beats on pro tools as far I, as i know yeah i think you can but you i probably I, can but i don't I even don't know what pro tools looks like oh, it's i mean different. drake uses it you know yep. that's all i gotta say you just gotta know his vocal <laughs> chain <laughs> um all right so i noticed you two gentlemen are seltzer drinkers yeah oh, yeah um now uh, you you both watched episodes here yeah. so you guys know what's coming in the next segment i don't give a fuck <laughs> i told blake to grab the nastiest fucking shit he could find to punish you guys <laughs> for <laughs> making me walk into the fucking potty stove and browse the <laughs> seltzer even, section these are barely even seltzer stuff. yeah oh, well you're about to drink shit. some fucking nasty like beer cocktail. here in a minute <laughs> it's a cocktail to be fair that is Shout out Monica to vodka and soda. This is this all is I seltzer. drink, so they're about to put me through hell. Oh, and you for, know sure. What? <laughs> for sure. The front, <laughs> desk man, the front desk yeah. man had those in a display out in the middle of the store. And he's like, I can put some cold ones in there for you. So he ripped open the box and switched out a couple cold ones just for you. Oh. Bro. Send him my condolences. Send him my I surely will. No, he's making money off Mega Millions right now. Anyway. Oh, hey. <laughs> I just had to throw that little teaser in there. Um. Dorsey, let's get something on that little sheet you sheet. Sheet yeah, McSheet sheet. Dog in the podcast. Again. No. <laughs> the podcast. Um, besides the... I mean, we can bring up a live event that you did with Siren yeah. Fest. Yeah. yeah we but we're going to get... talk about that real quick? We might get cut short, so we might have to come back in after the next ad perfect, to finish perfect. that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Let's, let's transition into Siren Fest there. So I had done a show uh, with a guy that I met. Uh, his name was... um. Uh, Casey the Illis. He's a local rapper out of Riverview. And uh, he was doing a show, and our friend, who ate Cusco, was performing on the show. So I hit him up to see if they had any more room for opening acts. It was my first time performing, so I performed there. We loved, I loved the building. It's just a cool vibe. 
A few months later, I'm talking with uh, <laughs> Devin Gilliam, rare dot IMG. Um, Gotta put the plug in. Yeah, had to. Uh, and the, uh, we decided to put a show together in a month. It was uh, we booked the place November third, and then uh, and then um, we uh, had the show November twenty third, and uh, it was a great night. My best friend, the guy, first ever guy I made music with, Rose two three nine, was a part of it. Uh, Devin Gilliam performed. Uh, a group of a uh, group of friends of mine known as uh, Trios performed, and then we had a bunch of opening acts, and it was a it was a really good time. Real quick, I just want to make sure that's the right Instagram for you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. How was it for your first performance? How do you feel you did? Uh, <coughs> I mean, people were getting like, like I would say a bar, and people would be like, "Ooh!" Like okay. they were so like, okay, so I, I mean, decent, I guess. There wasn't like, that many people like there. One out of ten. One out of ten, I would say I did like a six. Like a six. For your six. first time. For my movies? first time, yeah. That's dope. We should finish your songs. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I, I think I'm pretty good on stage. Yeah, I mean, no, you're actually really good on stage. Yeah. Now, at least. Every time I see you. Yeah. Well, we, we might put that theory to the test, because at my request, oh, yeah, is probably going to be booking some rap shit for 2023. Because oh, the last two years of my life has been all rock and roll and punk and stuff, and it, it's not bad. Let's Sorry, cook it. I'm I'm down. It's Sorry, been an inspiration work. of mine. It's yeah. been a goal of mine here for the last little bit to also do a rap show. We've oh, done a lot so of rock. Oh, we've yeah. done a lot of rock. It's time we dip our hat into some other other topics and artists, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And with that, I feel like it's the perfect time to go into one of our ads for a sponsor, shall we? Perfect. And maybe the one that we got for the Black Friday event. See, the Lunar Station. Oh, the yeah. Counter Culture Destination. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, yeah, boys and girls. Blackout yeah. Friday is coming. This Black Friday at the Lunar Station right yeah. there in Trenton, Michigan, starting at 7 o'clock, starting the night off with a podcast. Oh, yeah, podcast. We'll be cutting an episode and you can join in if you want but the party doesn't stop there currency clothing company best believe they're gonna be there with a little pop-up shop i know you're gonna be hungry lunar station doesn't have a snack bar but don't worry because in the parking lot there's gonna be bad mother truckers with the motherfucking food truck but the buck don't stop there neither bitch two down the dons that's luciano little siren blackout friday november 25th starting at seven o'clock be there or be a bitch thought of doing yeah. that um so as i was saying we're getting into this beer view uh so we're gonna take one down pass it around keep it under the table and don't look at it oh right, fuck right. that shit was like thx at the beginning of toy story like yeah. Yeah. that was really cool wasn't it i enjoyed that that's it i think right? yeah that was gonna be nasty all right open your eyes boys take a look at it oh, whoa Jesus. it's a dead guy ale by rogue <laughs> oh my what god is this the yeah. design is sick yeah, this is like, a 6.7 by alcohol by volume this is a dead guy ale is a my box what the <laughs> fuck does that mean yeah my box stale ale worth a robust malt uh, profile a and a sweetness sick, that is balanced by the, the is uh, liberal uh, use of bitter hops. hops. Now you're fucking speaking my language. Dark Green's Dream. Ooh, I really uh, went all dirty with this one for you, Chris. This is one of the most beautiful can designs I've this seen in my sick. life. Yeah. 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 This is sick. This is one suck, of them that was made that I think based clearly on design. By yeah. the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, now we have a rule here: sniffs before sips. So please crack and take a whiff. Oh, I hate beer so much. It's an Irish cricket. Well, this beer's gonna love you. Looks. And remember, when you take a sip, you let no it sit sips. on your no tongue. Sips yet. No sips yet. Hold let on. it sit on your tongue, swish now it around before you swallow. Really let the flavor hit your palate, right, Dorsey? Wow. Wow. <laughs> you guys are gonna That's like a good my beverage. take. <laughs> well, go right ahead. Why don't you start it then, my friend? Hold on. We have two scales Maybe here. Watch the episode. Yeah, just a reminder, Daily Drinker and a specialty beer. Daily Drinker is something you would get on the regular. Mm-hmm. Specialty beer, obviously, different occasions. Yeah. Holidays, podcast days, like <laughs> shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Drink twice. Mm-hmm. Had to do. Someone, someone's got to keep making us drink, goddammit. 
Nope. That what seems like it? it's you today. Wait, you're the one on that. O-R? Hewport O-R. Yeah. Oregon? Oregon. Oregon? Okay. Give us the review. Me first? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm not a big beer drinker, but you know how, like, when you drink something and, and like, something about it reminds you of something you ate? Bro, I just took a drink of that and I thought of White Castle Sliders. Oh, what? <laughs> I swear to God. I love that. I, I swear to God. I'm not bullshitting. I am not bullshitting. Forcing this upon non-beer drinkers <laughs> is my favorite <laughs> part of the yeah, show. Yeah, same. That's so the thing. Great. He can handle beer. You can handle it. I can't. I so what do, you, what do you give it on a daily rating? Uh, I, I would never give this daily. One out of ten. One out of ten, I would get... Uh, for a beer, I'll give it a solid, like, six. Seven. For yourself. Yeah, wait, that's hot. Wait, for that's your hot. for your own personal it. taste. For your own personal taste. Like, would you, you drink this on a daily? Four. Little siren. Four? Four. Okay, four. Okay, four. Yeah. okay, that's more reasonable. Yeah. Now, what would you give it on a specialty beer? Uh, like, coming on a uh, ten, coming on the podcast. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> Aw, yeah. All right, what do you got? Take a chance. I love the design. It's a 10 out of 10 for a specialty beer. That's like, sick. For sure. Yeah. Okay. You can buy this in a specialty occasion and everyone's going to love it. Everyone's going to be like, whoa. But it's a little thick for my taste. So I probably wouldn't buy this every day. Like, See, I don't know. It's like. I don't know shit. <laughs> there's like, there's a lot going on in there. You know? <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. There's, there's a lot going you know, on. You know so, how you know he's the engineer and not the rapper? Huh. Because he's like, like this. With the mic. <laughs> It's all far away from it and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's I'll fix it in post. Remember, Sound Geyser. He uses Pro Tools, yeah, he doesn't get the out, joke. You know? Dad, go ahead. <laughs> what do you got? It's a one knob compressor. Put it on the master. Get it? Get it? I don't know. Daily rating, like, five that sounds out like of ten. Like, I feel like oh, yeah, I forgot about the like daily. This. Five out of ten? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's I think nice. A lot of people, Not bad. Like, it's either a hit or miss for most people. And yeah, you can ten out of ten me. for sure. You can buy this in any. You can bring this to any party and they'll fuck with it. Yeah. yeah. Just off Just the design off the look. alone. Yeah, for yeah real. the design's I like sick. That. I like that take. Uh, wow. This is the hoppiest non IP ale I've had. Like ever, yeah. 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 I really Definitely. enjoy it for that. I don't know what that. Means. You go ahead, Dad. You take the review. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> uh, daily. I, I'd give this an A nine, a nine, nine. I'm Is with that it. for a daily. Absolutely. Okay. We're I mean, love... heavy beer drinkers. Wow. Well, <laughs> heavy IPA, yeah. hoppy drinkers. I'll My favorite them, part sure. of the IPA like is the on. hops and the bitterness, and this has that without the other IPA characteristic so it goes down like an ale but it's just bitter as fuck and i think it's very special for that so special that it gets a 10 on the specialty rating wow. because i've had nothing like this it's tough honest yeah uh Dang. what was your uh, specialty dad oh that was yeah. a 10 oh okay yeah, yeah. okay 100%. yeah so i thought i was gonna hate it a lot more i really don't know how i feel about it still it's weird um I don't hate it. I don't love it. I feel like if I get black out enough, I'd will probably like it more. <laughs> that goes for everything. Hey, that's like, every every alcohol. yeah <laughs> every alcoholic <laughs> beverage I guess works like that. But this one, like, I feel like the more you drink, the more you're gonna like it. I guess as with that, um, I don't know. Everyday drinker. I really couldn't do this every day to be honest. It's not an everyday flavor, so I would give it like a six point two. Okay. On a specialty beer, I'll, I'll give it like a 7.6 because I could do this. Like, I'm not going to be upset if someone pulls this out. I, I might pull it out myself on specialty occasions. Dad's mad, but realistically, 7.6 is pretty good for something like this for me. So, I'll, I I would bring it around, but I'm not going to do it regularly. Well, me boys. That fucking guy down there. Oh, God. Well, for now on, when I see this can, I'm going to think of this podcast. So that's, that's why it's a 10. That's valid. Yeah. No, and that that's your 10, by all means. Yeah. Absolutely. I want to kiss you for that. <laughs> I've done fucking 23 of these reviews now, so yeah. wow. it's hard, man. And every hard, time it's man. been a different beer. It's, we're doing quite well with this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, as I said personally, this I bought this strictly just because I saw that little dude. Like, mm-hmm. this little dude. Oh, that's sick. Sick. Yeah, 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 that's sick. sick. This is, uh, you guys didn't get to see it, but this was the box that portrayed oh. me. Oh, that's sick. Buying it. Right there. Man, what yeah, the just, fuck? You just yeah. don't see something like that. Yeah, right that, that's what portrayed me into buying it, and it's got a really bright, f- reflective design off the light. That's yeah. really cool. Ooh, shiny thing. I've yeah, never seen thing. that. That's exactly what it was. What do they call that 3D you shit? Like, you know, you can take a look at it, Dad. out at you. Um, so, I, I, so I picked it up strictly for that. I wasn't in. I bought it <clears> off of Dad's entail of getting the most hoppiest, nastiest thing I could find for you two. Uh, being a dick that we are. Um, <laughs> it's 
great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You just learned you're not getting paid for Black Friday. <laughs> Look at this, oh. David Branch. I couldn't agree more with what he said about it being so hoppy, but still being so smooth like you get with most ales and everything. Um, on a daily drinker, I'm easily giving this a nine, nine and a half. Oh, wow. um, on a specialty beer, this is another ten for me. Shows wow. you. Oh, that shows you how much I don't like, like beer. <laughs> yeah, it, it's no, recently. It's right, yeah, man. this is my first time having it, and I'm I'm in love. It's dark. It's risk. It's dreamy. Yeah, I just read the dark. Oh. Dark, you know, but it's just, you just read out the can. Yeah, it's actually it's a, it's actually dare risk dream. Uh, I, uh, but whatever. Uh, great. Um, but also, so as you guys know, I just took this pod the the video on our Instagram. Go check out our Instagram, All Yeah Records. Uh, go check out his Instagram official little siren, and don't forget to check out his uh, TAC Records. Um, uh, we just posted on there, and I got a text message right after I posted it. Immediately, it was from our good friend Colton. What you got? Yeah, 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 Colton. Uh, and Colton reached out, and he told me to ask, uh, take a chance on what the camp currency experience was like. All right, all right. Well, for starters, it was a dream. You know, it turned out better than I expected. To be fair. And it was a blast to see all my rappers that I've been working with in the studio actually perform all the all the music we've been working on over the year. You know, that's what really what it was all about. And I learned a lot, you know, from how how the mixes sounded and everything. I learned a lot from just turning the music up. I never heard my songs that loud before. Yeah. So and just to see the amount of people who turned up, you know, especially with the dons. I remember walking up on stage and just I just saw a sea of people and I was just oh, I was mind blown. It was, it was <laughs> crazy. And yeah, it was it was a great experience, and I'm really excited for the next one. All right, and now, I, I apologize. Colton just texted with another question. We're back to back here. Now, this one's for you, Little Siren. Uh, as an audience goer at Cam Currency, um, what was your opinion of seeing the show and how it all went for you, and how would you feel about getting a POV, experience, a POP, a POV perspective on next year's uh, video recap as well as one like on stage and stuff? Oh, perfect. Uh it was it was the fact that i've grown up with colton like through high school and seeing where he's come like this far and devin who took a big help rare dot img i keep tagging him for him um <clears throat> the seeing how far and what a great event and like taking back to siren fest devin was one of the big guys that helped me with that and uh <laughs> Way to get his copyright. <laughs> Dorsey uh, was watching porn on the podcast again. <laughs> spooky, yeah. spooky film. No, man, I went onto Instagram because I had a spooky, spooky notification from our sponsor, and that was the video. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, man. man. Carry on. All good. Uh, but yeah, Devin was a big help with Siren Fest, and one of the like, if it wasn't for him, I would have no music to perform at that event and stuff like that. Like he was a big, he was my chance before chance, uh, and then. Uh, seeing how far they've come and just booking something and making it awesome. It was like, I texted them both after I had left and told them like how proud they should be of that show. They did a great job and it was Good awesome. On yeah. Appreciate I'm also that. very Appreciate excited that. for uh, Camp Curtsy 2023 because uh, me and Dorsey get to take a wonderful part in that and being oh, a host man. for the event. Let's go. Having yeah. Super big part excited. And helping out with that. And I can't yeah, wait that's to gonna see be awesome. what comes out of that. Yeah, I'm so goddamn pumped. I DM'd him <laughs> like, dude, you got us pumped for this shit and it's eight months away. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. Come on, I'm, I'm like it's ne- Curse, bro. for real. That's like it's right. next weekend. I'm making plans for it and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck. I already think about what you're gonna wear and all yeah. that. Yeah. Well, the good news is we have also a bunch of live events that we're we're in the works of making with also a bunch of our good friends. Gets us uh, warmed up for it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like what? Uh, practice for the big like one. what, motherfucker? Like, like what? what? Like what? Don't like just what? blue ball okay. me. Yeah, right. give me some, give me some teasers on one right. of the live events. Right. So we got uh, the Black Friday event. Like, wait, I said, wait, wait. You also in. said the drink word like three times at least there, and I just did it a fourth. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> caught that one. We got a drink. So like, <laughs> five. Um, the black friday event the 26 are you doing the live podcast at the lunar station uh uh that's no not the 26 that's like the 24th or the 25th i believe it is 25th 25th yeah 25th the 26th i'm also going to be going out to and uh i'm in the works of helping out with uptown studios doing their live drum off that they're doing out there as well the 26th that's going to be very interesting that's sick uh we have uh, show that I'm looking to book in December for the second annual Xmas Bash. I'm working on doing as well. Me and Chris were talking about that. I have no further details, but that's something that's in the works. Oh, uh, yeah. 
December 30th, I'm working with JT and Voss for a big banquet hall event out in Fisher Banquet Hall with a bunch of other uh, bands. Further details to come with that as well. That's um, awesome. Yeah, there's yeah. a few other ones. And then... Yeah. I'm one something. What one is more, which we're far from, so we're not yeah, going to no. dive in two yet, but we will be hosting a comedy show oh, with yeah, Ken Wood. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's for real? That's yeah, talk yeah. about that now? Yeah. We can talk about we that. We just don't have a um, date. Oh, yeah. End of March, oh, beginning yeah. of April, we're going to get a date locked in. Him and I are going to be talking soon to get details finalized. It will be at Parts and Labor in Melvindale. Ken's going to have control over the lineup, and we're going to let him ride. We're going to have a lot of good comedians. We're going to do a live podcast there as well. And then yeah. Chris is going to take the mic back because he's just itching to talk. Yeah, and since we're plugging shit that I didn't know was confirmed... Oh yeah, I was gonna put out a live comedy album, and I'm so excited for this. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that'll I, happen. Just like, oh. no, it will. Yeah, yeah, Remember, I said it will. Rick Rubin produced that fucking Andrew Dice Clay record, dog. Like, the I got a Don Rickles one that I just got recently. That's really cool, dude. Like, fucking Richard Pryor records, yeah, are dope. Fucking Bo Burnham shit's dope. I've oh, yeah. always wanted to do a comedy record, and oh yeah, it's gonna be. A First fucking um, label out here to put that shit out. Talk and you guys shit. know, uh, Pete, the <laughs> day of the <laughs> Halloween party that you threw here, Dorsey, I went out to a Spooky Spooky's bowling event. Yeah. I was out there, and he was talking to me. He wants to collaborate on an event here in the future, doing another bowling event as well. Uh, trying to do a music bowling thing down here in the oh, Down River area. So that's something <coughs> I want to make happen here shortly as well. Me three. Man, I love bowling. Yeah, yeah I love bowling. Bowling so and music. Time. Yeah, bowling. Black and all. Black and all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's going to be another event here in the future. Um, We have a lot of things here heavy in the works. Uh, And we are consistently making new friends. Uh, So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell so you can see all the new friends that come here on the Put it oh, right yeah here. podcast Put it right here. and you can meet new artists producers and photographers and everybody else and follow great new music and i don't fucking know and david branch too you can't really see him yeah, you don't know so what he looks the like scenes. whatever yeah. you you speak ads though and yeah no he, he, does, he does his own voiceovers yeah. on the ads yeah. yeah yeah the last one in the last episode was pretty cool yeah uh, uh, i'm digging his hat right. his hat's kind of sick huh. he is the most handsome man huh. Most you handsome man. You can't do it without him. Either. Yeah, the most yeah, handsome fucking yeah, yeah. man, David Brent. Give it up for David Brent. Is this an ad for David Brent? Two human clothing <laughs> ad right now. <laughs> Drop it. Two <laughs> human clothing yeah. right now. That's his line. That's his line. I, oh yeah, yeah. We can do that. I have that ad saved. Yeah. Hello there. My name is David Branch, and I'm very excited to share with you the first drop of my brand new clothing brand, Two Human. Visit twohuman.store today to place an order and check out some great new products designed by yours truly, David Branch. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Blake. All my homies hate Blake, bro. Was someone else doing that? Right, you ready? Tell him, Chris. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Blake's penis is smaller than the national average. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Flaccid and erect. Blake's penis is smaller than the national average. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Flaccid and erect standard. Oh, I oh yeah. Perfect yeah. goddamn synergy between engineer That's and artist. That is how gold is made in there the studio, go. boys <laughs> and girls. Oh, yeah. Fuck Blake, bro. Fuck Blake. Not in his wildest <laughs> dreams. Yeah, I'm all, all <laughs> mad. Yeah, I'm I feel bad now. I ain't gonna lie. I feel all of you now. can I'm feel fine, fine except for Chris. Chris hit me where it hurt. No. Uh, you told me I had to do the show for free. I just had to do it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get it out. Now we're good. And he's still gonna do it for free. I had to get even somehow. Right, you know what else we're doing for free is we're hearing a new record. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Sirene, why don't you tell us a little bit about this ditty we just got racked up? Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is me. is uh, is called Where We At, featuring the Dons. The Dons? Yeah, the Dons. Episode That's 19. our homeboys. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we uh, we worked in uh, Take a Chance Records, and we created this hit right here. I like this song a lot. Let's cue it up. DB, please. Give me the audio. I hope by this point in the game, I have sent the Dons beat pack that we promised them like four episodes. Yeah. Are you saying this was a... Oh, yeah. Can we get it up a little bit higher there, DB? I made them a Detroit time beat. I like to dress to impress, but I'll never fall suit. Can't 
Just sit back and relax, you know I'm always making moves Call the 40 Kobe Bryant, cause it's always quick to shoot Got the dons on this bitch with Smith and Wesson in the booth yeah. bitch. And that's a fact, tell a shawty bring it back Doing devs with two six, you know we vibing up at tap And I'm always rocking with go ahead and make it fuck with the gang, I'll be smoking on your pack I do this B.I.G. Rap G.O.D. I'm addicted to this shit, might have a big O.D. And I do this shit for me, not for H.O.E. You don't know this bitch, man. Bro, keep calling. S words, bitch. Yeah. Everything we make is a hit like a ball bat. Did you did, did, did Don's track with you? Pick up the phone, phone or don't care. They send us over. No, they were in the booth. They recorded this. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I think they were on. Yeah, Wait, I was there. Good to have an engineer that makes your shit crispy. Yeah, 100%. It's so wonderful. <laughs> I'm very blessed. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> and these boys, bro, these boys are so talented. So dope. Every last one. Y'all hear it out Yeah. That's Blake right there, right? Huh? This is Grady, yeah. He's the guy usually on the bench, man. What's your move like? 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 You guys fuck with that? Yeah. We're just looking to drop. That's some dark ass club shit, man. December 9th. Club banger for sure. Yeah, December 9th. The weekend of December 9th. Alright, fuck yeah. Yeah. No, I fucked with that for sure. Yeah, that that's was, gonna be a banger. That was smooth. I like, like that. The transitions were good between the other artists. Yeah. Like, you could really fucking hear that cut, so... Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with that. And that'll be available on all platforms now, Yes, right? sir. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Making the big move. Yeah, all yeah. 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 I will be uh, ripping that from Tidal pirate style <laughs> and to my archive i think you will get a sh one stream from it though on each <laughs> track are you gonna yeah. set him up with everything you need so he gets paid off of it and everything you hooking him up with that or are you making him do it he's a, he's on him for real I oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. always no, leave it no, up no, to no, the no, engineer mind. that's yeah, how we get paid it's all up to yeah. me but with that i know i can come to him if i had any questions and he would yeah, help you me know, i help him whatever oh, yeah, 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 yeah. like hey bro where the fuck's my money i got a hundred thousand streams i don't know distro kid don't respond bro i don't know yeah, that's, that's on him, man. Oh, oh, see, BMIs. That's where the real chatters at. Yeah, yeah we can talk for hours. BMIs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where game. everything. That's where everything comes down to, realistically. Yeah, Don't forget, yeah. you can register your performances <coughs> there and actually get paid for real for oh, doing shows. Sick. Oh yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. yeah look, if you guys don't know about that, look into it. It's mm -hmm. easy as fuck. Oh, bet. Get and you paid. get your percentages for doing all the mixing and everything too. So. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, you, you yeah. get yeah, technically, if you want to get techno, you deserve like 15 20 percent of all streams. Yeah. Bro, I'll give him I'm more like, than that. Yeah, I'll give myself more than that. <laughs> He's oh, helped write 50 it. Right? Right? Like, like, shit. At least. Yeah, <laughs> he said oh, shit. Oh, 100. Because I'll pull up with like eight bars done and I'll still need another eight. And I want to switch up the flow or some shit. And he'll help me get that started. So I would give him more than that. Oh, see, so now you're getting so more right yeah, 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 yeah. Now you're taking right arrays on top yeah. of it, see? That's, that's, the color, that's good. Color, you know, yeah, 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 it's taking that real money. That's so crucial with that relationship because... As an artist, like you can come in and your shit might not be all the way written, and then there's this pressure, or nastiness. But if you could lay it on your engineer and <coughs> shoot ideas back, bro, and forth, this dude's mm -hmm. different when it comes to rapping too. So yeah. phenomenal. I'm not even just signed, but I did that with all my clients. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Yeah. Keep gotta, keep that up. Because my name goes on him too. You know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My name's going on him. I want him to be hard. The, I'm not the best they can be. Yeah. That's phenomenal you, you, you guys' heads are in the right space. I feel like a proud oh, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like George Bush? Oh, he's here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, do you want to see him? You want to say hi? Bring, What's up, bring him on, George. You want to say hi to George? Along, boys. Everybody say hi. Bring him on down. Hi, George. It's been a while, George. Hi, George. The 43rd president of the United States. Very nice to meet you, Mr. George president. Walker Bush. Bet you didn't oh, know the W was for Walker. I did not. 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 I did
Oh, we've already covered that a couple times, but yeah. I mean, if you got opinions about it, go ahead. That's why he's here. Uh, I mean, he knew something. That's all I got to say. I'm, I'm going to... He, he had some intel prior, before it happened. I'm going to just go based off the fact that happen. maybe I'll yeah. make money at this someday and just not comment on that. that. <laughs> Jet fuel does not burn steel beams. I'll God say... damn it. I'll say America. America. I'll say. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Sorry, fuck yeah. So... No, I, I'm gonna no, in there. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this in before we run out of time because this kind of touches back with one of the conversations we had with Siren Fest. Yeah, um, one of the band or one of the uh, groups you mentioned, one of those guys is now a part of HBR. <coughs> mm-hmm. Is that how that worked? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you had HBR featured on another song mm-hmm. of his as well. Yeah. What's the tie in there? With you <laughs> yeah. So uh, doing Siren Fest, we had a I had met there. a lot of talented people like leading up to that. Mm-hmm. And one of the guys I met was Just named like Twan, and he has a group. He had a group at the time called Trios with two other members. One of them being D One. Uh, D One ended up. Uh, they ended up going their separate ways. The group as a unit, they just started doing their own solo thing, and uh, D One ended up. Uh, I don't know how he got in with HBR, but he got in. Uh, and then I was just at the studio one night, and <laughs> I was just at the studio one night, and I was texting D1, and I was like, bro, come through. And this is probably almost a year ago now. HBR. HBR, yeah. Yeah. Also so, the main engineer for that group. Yeah. Well. So D1 came in, he sat for 20 minutes, and he said, all right, I'll be right back. And he went and picked up another member of HBR, and they came through and did like three songs that night. And they've been coming and in since, ever since. Yeah. I got like probably about eight projects with all of them together. Yeah. And yeah, my favorite one is actually the one that just dropped with HBR Louie. Shout out. Shout out him. HBR Louie. Yeah, shout out Louie. Uh, shout out his, Sean. his tape's called 1031. It's a two sided album, so there you got 10 and then 31. It's probably one, some of my best music that I've ever put out with some good shit. With him, at least. And all together with all my clients. That's uh-huh. definitely one of my favorite projects that he just put out on 1031 Halloween. Yeah. So nice. Definitely nice. recommend nice. everyone checking that one out. That's yeah. sure. Shout out Lou. Like, shout out Sean. Very shout out Molly. Shout out so, Nino. Uh, uh, you're, you're already doing what I was about to ask you. I was going to say we're kind of tracking down the last few minutes as there, uh, before we sign off here. Is there any <coughs> last shout outs? Any yeah. quick thank yous? You, you want to go first? Any people that you've been working with real quick? Well, I also I got to shout out my girlfriend, Erica. You know, Woo! She is the reason why I'm able to do this full time. She helps me. And behind behind every the great scenes. man. Beh- wait, with every great man is a strong woman behind him or something like that. She is that. Some quote I, like that. Like that. I got to shout her out. You're blessed. Yeah, she would be pissed if yeah. I didn't. Because yeah, she yeah, is yeah. a huge part of the studio. Everyone calls her Miss Two Six. You know. Yeah. That's so <laughs> Miss awesome. Two Six. <laughs> so cute. She'll be in the studio and like help you. Like yeah. like she'll she's, be telling her. She'll be like, oh, part. that didn't sound I right. I wouldn't be able to get this far with far without her. I got to shout her out. I got to shout out the Dons, obviously. Of mm-hmm. course. Yeah. We'll shout out the Dons, too. I got to shout out my guy, Nate Wabo. Yeah, that's a homie. And Nate he's Wabo. Awesome. He's, he's basically another siren for me. He's mm-hmm. another right-hand man that is... I couldn't do this without him, for real. And also shout out Huey Cusco and Juan Donovan. You guys yeah, got to check their music ones. out. They're my day ones. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> for me, I, I got to give a big thank you right here to the guy sitting next to me. Uh, he... You know, like if I if it wasn't for him, I would not have been able to make any of the music that's coming out soon. And very appreciative of that relationship. Also, also uh, shout out to HBR, shout out Nate LeBeau, shout out Rose Two Three Nine, shout out uh, Currency Clothing, of course, and shout out uh, Devin Gilliam, who's a big uh, help with me and over the years been like a mentor. Yep, mm-hmm. Camp Currency. Out, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Colin also made this hoodie. Yeah, not yeah, he did special for me i really appreciate him for that but yeah those are Sean all the Cole homies too, i forgot him yeah all the homies if you have uh, any of your friends that are other artists or anything that you think might be interested in joining on the podcast that would be interested in this please send them our way we of course love to get more artists on here especially more rappers we've done quite a big stretch of rock artist dad mm-hmm. have we oh uh, we have yeah you, you gotta hit up my boys then dan is that yeah. Well, bro, send, uh, I have every single one of them. Yeah, I want to be. He's just... actually my first client I ever had. Okay. He's uh, my first client, and he's also like one of the best clients that I got. Yeah, Zendan. <laughs> Zendan. He he, he, he also performed at Camp Currency. He was at, okay. Yeah, he was also yeah. at current Camp Currency. Y'all and, don't need. Yeah. 
tight beats off YouTube. <laughs> Damn it. Just hit me up. <laughs> no, he he's, he's got a solid all little... He see? buys all the YouTube beats. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah. He okay, them. he actually buys them. Thank he God. So little, you're not mixing any box, records bro. with that guy that are like, purchase your trucks today. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> see, Dad's, <laughs> see, man. Dad tolerates what we put him through here with all the rock stuff we do. I don't hate. I know, you tolerate it. That's what it is. I was just singing the Cypress record. Yeah, you were. Tall as tell. They ever told me, hey, hey. Anyway, there we go. The world. <laughs> Let's we go. get Fuck you guys you on some fucking Chris Centers type beats. God damn it. That's Let's what go. we're really looking exactly. for. That's a dad style beat. Yes, sir. Listen, if you go through the hardship of being a dad. Oh, can we hear a freestyle off some big feast beats? No, 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 no. That's all you. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm not the best freestyler. Uh, Good. I'm more of a sit down, like just chilling, be able to write, catch a melody kind of thing. I That's think how those- I am with my beats. It's like yeah. I tried to cook one up on the spot for the Dons, and I did. And by the time it was ready, and I wasn't so like scared. Yeah. I, Blake was like, "They already left." It's like, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> like twenty minutes ago, you were way gone. <laughs> well, either way, since we've got a few minutes to go, yeah. there's a Star Wars part on, part on there, and I need Let's to know why. Go. You have just a few right, minutes. So you Here's the thing: I love the Dons, the but they <laughs> sold the bag on that Star Wars conversation. They did. Yeah, one of them fucking said, "Goddamn." Attack of the Clones. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> this is a hot take. Phantom Menace, not that bad. That is a hot take that is incorrect. It gave us it gave us one of the coolest Jedi and one of the coolest Siths. Oh, uh, yeah. Qui-Gon now, was sick. He and was, so was, and it's Darth his Maul. fault. The entire Darth Vader arc is his fault for yeah. violating the code. Exactly. It's He's like, way more important to that story than people make him think he is. Qui-Gon's a dog, literally. Yeah. Like, yeah. In Star Wars lore, actually, like, yeah, he made a big fucking difference in, yeah. in the story. Um, I mean, based off of who his Padawan, Padawan was alone, like, that <laughs> downward trend. Not to mention, if you want to get super deep, who was his master? Oh, fucking yeah, Count Dooku. Dooku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Think about that. Imagine being Count Dooku's Padawan, yeah. like the greatest <laughs> Jedi swordsman ever to exist. <laughs> like, but the, so, best, the best ones were Vendor the Sith. In my opinion, out of all six or out of the the prequels, out of the all prequels. nine, real out of oh, I, well, I don't count the, Jedi, I'm just the Disney shit. That, <laughs> yeah. there's, I don't understand. What I you do mean. like there's Disney series that they have. Yeah, Obi Wan. Obi Wan was the goddamn shit. And Mandalorian was really good. I haven't watched Endor yet. I haven't either. I, I didn't even know what was that. happening. Yeah, yeah Obi Wan is the shit. Yeah. I have watched about half of Andor. I'm gonna tell you right now. You guys need to watch Andor. I wish they had the production and effort put into obi-wan that they did with andor obi-wan felt rushed obi-wan was fucking great because of the characters that were there and who (laughs) they pulled back to play them they had the ogs for both fucking obi-wan and vader yeah but anakin Anakin, yes you're right but with with andor it just feels so fucking raw like Every episode's a movie, literally. Yeah. And they're only 40 minutes, but it's like every time you're like, holy fuck, like, yeah, I want more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. just wants more. I'm excited. Yeah, that's why I liked Rogue One so much. Yeah. Because it never felt saw it. raw as I'd fuck. I never really had sexual relations s- with that woman. That I've never had sexual relations wrong, in my wrong life. Wrong precedent, yo. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 George no, Bush did. He was fucking bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Rogue One kicks ass. That's Check it out. And Solo was kind of slept down, in my opinion. Yeah. I actually I saw liked Solo. it. All right. And that was the lowest rated Star Wars movie ever. Yeah. Which is well, bro, you take you take Harrison Ford away from Han Solo, and it's kind of like. But then you oh, add oh. Childish Gambino to that fucking Lando Calrissian, and that was hard as fuck. And Amelia Clark for all my Game of Thrones fans out there. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What? That was hey, sick. Quick, that was sick quick. as fuck. Shout out Breeze on these candy cane va- uh, No, candy cane no. Oh, fuck your so nigger. They're, they're, so they're, they're so good. They're so good. They're so good. Oh, so right. good. Fuck your hey, nicotine. I'm no. Sponsored by PBR and Stroh's. You think I really care about <laughs> shout outing Breeze? Get the fuck out of shout here. Shout out Breeze. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> the official vape sponsor of Little Siren. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in for another episode of the Oh Yeah Podcast. Podcast for degenerates by degenerates. Our guests, we have Lil Siren and 2-6 from Take a Chance. You're? Or the man himself, not from Take a Chance. He is Take TAC. That's TAC right Himself. There. We've Thanks. got, we had a great episode. We had a great time. I Anything didn't. else you guys want to say here? One more y'all, yeah? Yeah, I think I got to hit, hit him with one more y'all, yeah. You ready? Yeah, one, good. two, three. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.